can't be serious. Attempted murder is very serious. There's a man fighting for his life in that room right now. It's my job to find out who put him there. And right now, you, you think that's me? I am sorry, Detective, but you are way off base. I mean, there is no way Liam could shoot anyone. I'm waiting to hear that from Liam. Is this... Is this for real? You, you think I, I tried to kill my own father? Reminding me that we need to do more of this. Oh, yeah, it's a dirty job. No, I mean it. I, I'm sorry I've been ne neglecting you, and I just I didn't want our married life to start like this. Hmm. Well, then you can pay me back tonight. Okay, it's a date. Um, I had a visitor today. <clears throat> yeah? Who? Somebody I know? Thomas. Thomas? He's in town? But he didn't let you know. So it didn't go well. I had to ask him if he's the one that shot Bill. Yeah, I'll have Emmy set up a meeting. I'm intrigued. Hang up the phone, Justin. Now. I'm looking forward to your presentation. OK. All right, bye-bye. So what's this about? Trust or the lack thereof. I don't have time to guess what you want, Wyatt. I'm running a company. So you say. But you know what I say? Show me the papers that my father signed that put you in charge. should be no hesitation here. If my father signed legal documents severing my brother and me from this company, then I should have a right to see them, don't you think? Uh, no one's disputing that, Why? Good. The papers, Justin. Well, they, they were drawn up to your father's instructions and specifications, messenger to Bill's house for a signature the night of the shooting, but as we all know, unfortunately, he was interrupted. So he did or, or didn't sign them? Well, he would have. I mean, the documents were found next to his body along with a pen, but someone interrupted him from finalizing that paperwork. Was it you, Wyatt? You asked Thomas if he shot Bill. I had to. But why? Why would you even consider that? I mean, Thomas and Sally were pretty involved when Bill was trying to wreck Sally's life and career, but still, attempted murder? It's even more proof how sick and twisted Bill really is. What did Bill do? You know how Thomas wanted to step up and be Sally's savior. Yeah, personally and professionally. And he did. He went over there and, and he even he left us to design for them. Just wanted to get her back on her feet. Until Caroline got sick. Caroline sick? Is that why Thomas went back there? Bill told Thomas that Caroline was dying because he knew that Thomas would just go to New York and make sure that Caroline and Douglas are okay. Bill lied to make sure he got what he wanted. It's pretty sick, huh? Let's all calm down. I'm not accusing Liam of anything or anyone else. I'm trying to determine motive. Was this a crime of passion, a crime of greed, both? Your father was prepared to cut you out of this company after betraying you in a pretty horrific way. Sleeping with your wife. All right, okay, all right. You, you don't have to remind me, thank you. I'm just saying, I have some questions that need answering. And we can start with, where were you the night your father was shot?
It just shocks me to know that Caroline would go along with such a huge, awful lie to let Thomas think that she was dying and that his son was going to lose his mother. Well, it shows you what a huge manipulator Spencer really is. He went after Caroline where she's weakest, her desire for Thomas, her desire to put her family back together. And she knew Thomas wasn't coming back to her. He was falling more and more in love with Sally every day. But she wanted her man back. And Bill was there to point the way. Poor Thomas. Poor Sally. What Bill did to that woman. That woman is the one he's still in love with. Thomas asked Sally to go back to New York with him after the investigation's over. Really? That's gonna devastate Caroline. So many victims, right? Thomas has two reasons to hate Bill. Number one, what he did to Sally. Number two, this awful lie that turned his life upside down. Wait a minute. This is Thomas we're talking about. He's not some cold-blooded murderer. I can't imagine he would do something like that. Shoot Bill. You can't take that back. You don't have to take it back if you get away with it. So you see why I had to ask him, right? I'm assuming he denied it. He did. And you believe him? I do. So I guess that long list of people that want to kill Bill just got a little shorter. But I'm right at the top. Bill might not make it, you know? I'm sure he's done some terrible things and the list keeps growing. But I don't want him to die. Because you're a good person. You don't hold a grudge. I'm not like that. I don't care what happens to Spencer. Excuse me, there is no reason to interrogate Liam. Not an interrogation. I'm just trying to find out where he was the night his father was shot. Liam was with me. I asked him over for dinner. What time did he get there? Uh, sometime around 7.30. And left? Well, Liam got the call yeah. uh, from Katie Logan that Bill had been shot, and we left together. Everything Steffi's saying is true. Yeah, Liam did not shoot Bill. No, I didn't. And listen, I don't, I, I'm not blaming you for asking me questions. Obviously, my father and I, it wasn't the best of times. But I don't need to rehash it with you because you already know the whole story. Yes, obviously I was furious with my father and I had every right to be because he betrayed me in the worst possible way. Did I shoot him? No, absolutely not. I'm sorry, man, my, my brain just does not work that way. I hate guns, I wouldn't even touch one. And as for your second motive, greed, I quit my father's company. He did not fire me. I don't care about the money. Must be nice. Yeah, it was. It's a lot of privilege, but I don't need it. I lived most of my life without it anyway. You talk a convincing game. Well, he's telling the truth. Listen, I don't, I don't care. I don't care about any of this. Just, just find the guy. Just find the person who shot my father. I intend to. Yeah. Thank you all for your time. I'm off to talk to somebody else with as much motive as you. Your brother Wyatt. You're really serious. Let's say that I am. You're actually asking me if I shot my own father. Yep. That's what I'm asking. Spencer got what he deserved. A bullet in the back. And there it is. See, that's how I know it wasn't me. I would have shot him in the head. Rich. What? I hate everything about that guy. Look what he did to Thomas. It doesn't get more despicable than that. Oh, no, no, it does. Go have sex with your son's wife. His filthy hands all over my dog. Okay, okay, calm down. I don't like it when you're dwelling so much on Bill and Steffi. It makes you crazy. Hmm. I really gotta calm down, Mitch. It turns you into somebody I don't even know. Okay, all right. <sighs> That was pretty great. The way you set the record straight with Detective Sanchez. 
Yeah, actually, I think it sounded less defensive coming from you. Well, I told the truth. Easily verifiable. You were with me when we found out Bill was shot and we went to the hospital together. Good thing you came over. <sighs> yeah, I wasn't exactly looking for an alibi, but I found one. Yeah, I hope Wyatt has one, too. I know my brother, and he wouldn't do it. Even if he had a reason to? I'm just saying, from a cop's point of view, there was a lot going on with Wyatt and Bill, too. It's true. Wyatt and Katie's engagement. I can only imagine how he reacted to that. Well, I can tell you how he reacted. He, he went ballistic, he disinherited Wyatt, he kicked him out of the company, and then he threatened to sue Katie for custody of Will. Well, now Detective Sanchez has two motives, greed and passion. Okay, but... I, I'm still saying I don't believe that Wyatt would shoot our father. This is a new low, even for you, Justin, implying that I'd shoot my own father. Oh, you wouldn't be the first. Passions run high between father and sons. Look, Wyatt, I know everything that goes on inside these walls. So that means I know what went down when you and Katie made your little happy announcement. Bill was outraged at the thought of his son marrying his ex-wife and Will having his half-brother as a stepfather. Oh, things got intense in here. Yeah, that's a good word for dad threatening to disown me and kick me out of the company and then threaten to take Will away from Katie. Intense. That pissed you off. Yeah. And you pushed back. Made a few threats of your own, huh? <laughs> hey, I'm not judging you. At least I wouldn't be. That was a man's instinct to protect his woman. And there's that one little detail. Bill getting shot. <sighs> That's why Dad keeps you around. You're good. It's not working on me. It's very clever how you just deflected all that. Then you turn the focus back on me in hopes that I'd forget you just sitting pretty here while dad's out of commission. I don't have to break up a fight, do I? Oh, no, no, detective. Just a business disagreement. <laughs> Happens all the time. Something you need, Detective Sanchez? I'd like to have a word with you. Alone, if it's okay. Oh. It's all yours. Uh, has there been a change in my father's condition? I'd like to talk to you about your father's attempted murder. Are you taking care of yourself through all of this? And the baby? Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks. It's just really frustrating. The doctors can't tell us anything until Bill comes to. Only he doesn't, he just lies there. Well, you're going through a lot right now and you're under tremendous pressure. You need to be able to vent for yourself and also for the baby's sake. You know, a detective questioned Liam. The police didn't honestly believe no, that... No, no. Liam was with me that night. When we found out together, we went to the hospital together. Well, thank God you made plans that night. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure he was going to show up, and then he did. I'm sorry, this is, like, weird. Something bothering me, and I just... You can tell me. Can I? Because I confided in you about Bill proposing, and you told Hope. I did. Why? We were talking about how upset Ridge was with Bill, and I was worried, and I guess it just slipped out. Well, Hope better not tell Liam, because he's already going through enough. He's conflicted about his father, and the last thing Liam needs is to know that Bill proposed to me. You know, you really didn't have to come with me. I'm just grabbing some extra clothes. Yeah, well, I wanted to after what you just, I mean, I couldn't believe the way Detective Sanchez was questioning you. 
Whatever, he's doing his job. I mean, I, I, I want them actively investigating this, right? I mean, I, I want them to follow every possible lead until they find the guy who did this to my father. Hey, I mean, even after what Bill did with Steffi, I mean, no one would fault you for wanting to shut him out of your life, and yet, there you are at the hospital, willing him to live, wanting justice for him. Don't give me too much credit. He's the only father I've got. Do I hate what he did with Steffi? Yes, obviously I hate it. And am I gonna forget it? No, not, not if I live to be a thousand, I'm not gonna forget it. But none of that means I want him to die. I, you're such a good person. I just, I, I need to tell you what's going on. Why, the doctor say something? N no, no, it's the night of the shooting, something happened. And you know, I would never want to hurt you. I just, I, I feel like you deserve to know the truth, especially the way you've been sticking by Bill all these days. I have no idea what you're talking about. Before the shooting, before Bill went home, he was at the Cliff House. With Steffi? Look, I really hate to pile on on top of everything else you've been dealing with. And I mean, to Steffi's credit, she didn't accept. I mean, I think she was You're actually You're freaking me out right now, Hope. Just tell me what, what? He proposed to your wife. You're kidding me. And your father went to Steffi and asked her to marry him. Look like you and Mr. Barber were having a moment. What can I say? Rubs me the wrong way sometimes. Yeah, I can see that. Especially since he thought he's gonna be running things around here. You know, I understand your dad was gonna cut you and your brother out of the company. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess that's no secret. Maybe you didn't mind. Starting a new life and all. Congratulations, by the way, on your engagement to Katie Logan. Your father's ex-wife, mother to your half-brother. What are you getting at here, detective? I'm just trying to piece things together. You and Katie announce your uh, engagement to Spencer. He blows up, threatens to cut you out of the company, disinherit you. Not to mention that he was gonna sue Katie for full custody of their son. Made you mad enough to threaten your own father. Did you act on that threat, Wyatt? Were you so full of passion and rage that you snuck into your dad's house and shot him with his own gun? Is that what happened? Did you try and kill your father? <laughs>